Hey guys, what's up? This is Tom from TTT, Tom's Tech Time. Today I'm going to show you the best settings for aerial footage that you can shoot with the Phantom uh, in combination with the GoPro Hero 3 or the GoPro Hero 3 Plus. But I would always recommend the 3 because it's sharper a little than uh, the 3 Plus. The 3 Plus is sharper when you have close objects, like your face when you're filming yourself from helmet. And the 3 is a little sharper in the wide field. So now let's check out all the details. So let's first off start the camera. So now the camera is up and we can see the small screen telling us some interesting stuff. But we're going to come back to that later. So first off you press the mode button until you see that sign appearing. Then you press up here. Then you see that appearing and you press again. And now we can choose at the first one uh, between lots of different um, picture sizes, 1440, 1080, 960, 720, 4K cinema, 4K, 2.7K cinema and 2.7K. So let's first off create three categories and these categories are the slow-mo guy the guy that wants good quality and right out of the camera and the pro, the pro that is really editing uh, at a software. So what should which one choose? I can tell you that. So the slow-mo guy should maybe choose 720p because in 720p you can get uh, slow motions up to 60 frames per second and can go for slow-mo footage but think of it the resolution is the smallest. Next, where is it hiding? Uh, up there. We're having 1080p, which is the standard size, which is full HD, the standard size, uh, for example, of most flat screens. So if you're a guy that wants to have awesome picture quality right out of the camera, and you don't really want to do anything else to it, go for 1080p. And now there's a last mode, and that's the one for the pros. And that's the 2.7K. So there are two different versions of the 2.7K mode available. The 2.7K and the 2.7K Cinema. The Cinema records with a 23.976 frames per second. And the 2.7K, the usual, records with 25 frames per second. So I am always choosing the 2.7K uh, with the 25 frames per second. And um, why does the Pro take the 2.7k mode. That is actually simple to describe because if that person wants to stabilize the footage even though it might have been on the gimbal we could still stabilize it better and we can do that for example in software from Apple or in After Effects or programs like that and therefore it's always awesome to have a picture that is bigger than the actual size that we want to look at it finally. Because finally I think most people would render it out in 1080p, but to, uh, to really stabilize the footage, a bigger image size is awesome because that way we don't have to scale the picture up. So my setting is choosing 2.7K. Uh, one more word about the 4K modes up there. The 4K modes, because they would even be better quality, why not recording on that? It's simple to understand. They have only a frame, per, a frame rate of I think 15 frames per second or something like that, so we cannot really watch it. So now, go for 2.7K. Now let's go one step down. That's the frame rate. Right here we can only choose 25 frames per second, that's what I'm using. But for example, the 720p mode, you can choose between, I think, 23.976 frames up to 60 frames per second, whatever you like. Next, we have the angle. And in the 2.7K mode, we can only have the wide angle. And uh, for example, in 720p and 1080p, there are several available from wide till narrow. I would always recommend you choosing the widest when filming in high resolution. Um, 
because actually they just cut off the picture so you could do that too manually in the computer if you wanted to so but in the 2.7k mode we can only use the wide mode and now exit as you can see 2.7k with 25 frames per second with the wide angle lens and up there you can see protune is turned on so what is protune let's first look for it we go to the capture settings and right here we find protune and we can turn protune either on or off and that is actually somewhat simple as well protune is something that gives your picture a different look again the question is are you rather the pro guy or are you the usual consumer um, saying do you want to have awesome stunning quality pictures right out of the camera or do you want to go for it later in post pro so because in pro tune there are really there are less colors there's less contrast and that is actually that uh, somehow makes it it creates like a gray grayer picture but you can go for a better editing afterwards so I'm always having the pro tune mode turned on so but if you don't need it you can simply turn it off the white balance I've always set it on auto because I mean there's so many different situations uh, that we're facing with the GoPro and I can't go for a manual white balance every single time and actually I never had problems with the white balance of the Hero 3 and that was already it so guys now there was a very interesting question that reached me a couple of times and that was can I film and take photos at the very same time and I said yes people you can but there are some things that you gotta take care of so let's first go to the menu again and we click that and now we got to make sure that we don't record in a quality that's better than 1080p because if you're in the 2.7k uh, mode for example it cannot film and take photos at the same time so right here in that list you can go for anything below 1080p so I'm going to choose 1080p and 25 frames per second wide angle that's all fine exit now let's continue clicking through that menu oh that's what I wanted to click at the capture settings again capture settings and now we see the film camera the photo camera and a little timer down there we click it and now we can see a timer that either says off 5 seconds 10 seconds 30 seconds or 60 seconds and now we can simply set that we can for example say 5 seconds and that means that the camera if we start recording right now immediately films and all 5 seconds it takes a photo and now how about the photo resolution if you want to know about that uh, yeah and remember one more thing you gotta turn protune off as well for using that mode so but now let's take a look at the photo resolution we can find that so in the main menu again the second one as you can see 12 megapixels for example here wide angle lens and stuff like that so we can choose between 12 mega 12 megapixels wide 7 megapixels wide or 7 megapixels medium or 5 megapixels medium so I would always recommend you choosing 12 millimeters and wide so and right now let's get back let's exit that stuff I'm going to take some photos of you and now look what it does all five seconds because I think it's going to take a photo of you did you see it it said one and if we wait a couple seconds right there two so that way you can film and take photos at the same time to turn the camera back off of course press that button so guys thank you for watching I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my awesome channel watch many other tutorials about the DJI that I made